going on guys welcome back to the channel so we got to run to uh pete cycles to get some oil so you know probably one of the last day good days of the season shall i say i know there's a lot of diehard guys that say you know there's not not a break in riding season but i don't care who you are on a naked bike in 30 degree weather it, it's not it's not warm at all by any means so today it's like 75 so hopefully we can get another good day uh, here shortly in the next coming week or so so you know just pump the content out if not we'll find something to do trust me so there's a topic that I want to talk about I just I, I don't get it man I, we're, and we're gonna talk about it okay so I get the question on a daily should I take the MSF or whatever is around you riders course I'm gonna tell you a straight answer yes you would be dumb not to and now I'm not saying that you're dumb if you don't do it because of the experience or whatever I'm saying there's so many benefits to having it it would be stupid not to do it so I'll give you one real good benefit and I was just like any other rider I knew it all I rode for two years on the back roads I knew everything that there was to motorcycles and boy was I wrong and there they teach you how to go over obstacles how to do u-turns how to do tight turns how to do left turns right turns I know it sounds so stupid and you feel you know you feel like you're downgrading yourself going to do it but I promise you it's nothing like that everybody in that course is doing it for the experience or that they truly just don't know how to ride a motorcycle and me I knew how to let the clutch out I knew how to lean and all that but what I learned there I I could never put from what I learned the three hundred dollars or whatever I paid 350 it was beyond worth it so that's one benefit the second benefit honestly you get a break on your insurance yeah it's not much but really it pays for itself over the course of time three you can test drive all kinds of bikes like yesterday we went to Bob's BMW if you haven't seen that video I'll put it up in the corner above you already know but I uh I test drove bikes I was able to test drive that I went to Daytona I was able to test drive brand new bikes right off the trailer like it was crazy to be able to do that and it was so worth it and number four fourth benefit you get a little M on your driver's license a little miniature M So, I get that question a lot, and the answer never changes. Absolutely. And honestly, it's more of a, like here's how I look at it. When I first started riding a motorcycle, we were able to get a bike for like $400. Which nowadays, you can't even find a bicycle for $400. So to be able to spend the money, you also you also get the chance to know if you like it or not and you don't have to spend thousands of dollars and if you drop that bike they have guards on it you know what I mean so you literally gain everything in it you know if you like it or not experience discounts test drive brand new bikes I mean if you really look over at it the disadvantage is it's three hundred dollars okay well, before you spend five, six, ten grand on a bike, before even knowing how to use it, that three hundred dollars is pretty cheap. I'm telling you right now, this gas cap is going to be the reason I burn this bike to the ground. I don't know what it is. It'll work sometimes. It won't work the other. It's supposed to push down, turn off, and we turn it back on. It's supposed to like boom, pop back up, and it'll go into place. But as you can see right now it's not popping up so aggravating because it looks so good 
You know, I spent so much money on it. It's been an eventful two days of riding. If it could stay like this all year, I'd be a happy man. Thirsty. Need me a bev. We are back. Had a nice DC and little turkey and cheese, little pinwheels. Oh my god. What a delectable treat. Oh my goodness. Well, the tank on the project bike is almost done. If you guys ever have rust in your tank, like little surface rust, I'm not talking like heavy, like where there's damage in the tank. I'm talking like, well even then, it would probably get rid of it, but of course it wouldn't fix that. But, if you got like heavy rust in your tank, little surface rust from over the years, the moisture and stuff, I would highly recommend doing cleaning vinegar. It says it has 6% acidity in it and wow it literally took all this rust that was in the tank and just killed it overnight it was unbelievable oh, this guy's gonna want to race well here you go even though i know the outcome we could try it. Maybe I'll catch him sleeping, which isn't likely. Alright, coming up on it. Let's get it. Let's get locked in. Oh. Oh boy, man. I knew I slipped it too fast. Wheel came right up on me. God darn. That trash control don't play though. That stuff will shut you right down. That's why I put in trash control, because if I leave it off, and I'm not the best with launching, and I'm still not really comfortable with this bike, even after so long. Um, if I was to leave it off and do that, that thing would just... Whoop, the candlestick throw me right off. So, And that is why I tell people I do not recommend this bike as a first bike. Because if it can do that, I can guarantee you that no... Lower than a 500 would do that. Never. And that happens to a new rider. See ya. See ya, see ya. So I try to help people out. You might think I'm a... You know what? Hey. Just trying to help y'all out. I'm worried about y'all too. Well, I think we're going to wrap things up here, guys. If you guys like the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. What I good stuff. Stick around if you're new. Seeing you on the flip side. Peace.